In this series, we interviewed five amazing healthcare leaders and experts about the digital health industry in the age of AI and digital transformation. In this video, we asked, what is one emerging digital health innovation that you think will be mainstream in the next five years? This is the second video in a series, so if you missed the first video, check the description. What I would love to see AI utilize more so is in a, a simulation perspective, um, you know, in clinical trials and those type of aspects of it. I think that when we can start simulating the ability or the outcomes without needing the patient there, or the ability to identify patient cohorts using AI more, more efficiently so that we can actually start getting diagnoses. Um, that's gonna be really able to change um, outcomes for patients. Uh, I, I saw a demo back in 2019 for a, um, a technology that was using AI to simulate heart stents um, and basically doing heart surgery, uh, virtual heart surgery using stents and AI. And that was back in 2019. So we're now five years later on that and um, I can only imagine what five years from now what virtual surgery and technologies are going to be like when it's ubiquitous to have AI be able to uh, diagnose those type of things and being able to simulate what the body is going to react to certain technologies or certain uh, uh, habilitative implements. Uh, I hate predicting <laughs> things because you know one of the quotes I use is uh, you overestimate what you'll do in two years and you underestimate what we'll do in five years, right? So I'm kind of forced to say that generative AI is going to become mainstream, but based on my comments in the session, if the GPUs and the algorithms are getting 1,600 times more efficient in one year, I don't even know what next AI is going to be. Is generative AI the next thing, or are we going to be changing, you know, uh, what is the Act 2 of Gen AI? What is Act 3 of Gen AI? I think whatever that is will be mainstream in five years, not what we are seeing today. Whatever the next generation of what we are doing today is what's going to be mainstream in five years. At least that's what how I'm thinking about it. I want to answer this question maybe by, by focusing on what will need to happen. So right now I see a lot of really interesting point solutions that have come about in the women's health space. And I'm really interested, especially in the, the healthcare sector, um, how we as innovators, as founders, are going to start to bring these point solutions together in offerings that are much easier for our customers to digest, to deploy. Um, and I think that, you know, that's going to be a huge challenge over the next couple of years. But when we solve that, which I believe we absolutely will, you're going to see a an entirely new model of healthcare delivery that I think we'll we'll take for granted maybe in six or seven years. But that's what's going to have to change. It's like I, I want to see these incredible innovations figure out how to become more palatable to the customer so that we can actually achieve the scale we need to within the market to really make the impact we're trying to see in women's health. I will tell you, as we start talking about how AI can be used, we're still dipping our toe in the water for where it's going to go. We know that radiology has a play there, but we don't know how do we have predictive medicine on top of that. And I think at some point when we start talking about genealogy and planning for care in the future, AI will be able to look across the landscape of a populace of people and be able to predict based on area code, zip code, where you grew up, how you look, see, and feel now and what will happen in the future. So AI will be able to predict these, these areas and pockets of care, and you'll be able to use this for your personal use. I think that that's part of the, that's part of AI's misnomer. What can it do? Well, it can gather vast amounts of data. Right now, we're using it isolated because there's, there are disparities in the data. We've got to clean that data first. So AI can't be used broadly until we clean this data up. Once you do that, you can now start targeting populations. You can start po targeting disease. And you can use that to care for people in targeted areas. 
I, I'm not an expert on technology, but I do know that people go onto their phones to to uh, to uh, plug in what symptoms they have, and they get an answer about what possibly could be ailing them, causing their symptoms. So I think developing that technology, developing better imaging, better diagnosing, I, I think that would be a terrific development uh, for consumers. This program is presented by This.Labs, the framework agnostic consulting firm helping enterprises realize their technical goals through staff augmentation, consulting, project management, on-demand subject experts, training, and other professional services. Find out more at this.labs.com.